Piston Fly here, hope you're well. Welcome back to Kit Corner. Now, a number of people have asked me uh, when they've seen my CRF250 uh, videos what the uh, mounting solution I, I use for my iPhone is. When I'm on, the, on this bike, on the dirt bike, I often use my iPhone as a GPS and also to check that I'm using uh, the right green lanes via the OS Maps, an app on my iPhone. Um, so I find it very, very useful on the CRF. Uh, and in fact, I've started to swap this around between the various bikes because sometimes I find the GPS, the TomTom -tom on the phone, is actually better than the, the sat-nav on the BMW, for example. So rather than keep swapping it around, what I've decided to do is buy another one of these uh, units and get it mounted on a, on a universal RAM mount. So if you stick around, stay tuned, I'll show you uh, how, what this uh, unit is like and uh, how you go about mounting it using the RAM mount system. OK, so what do you need then if you want to go about uh, mounting your iPhone onto a bike using something like a RAM mount? Now, I've never used a RAM mount on the bike before. I first came across them uh, from my flying uh, hobby, uh, where we used to use RAM mounts to mount things like, again, GPSs onto the yoke of aircraft. So they're very, very firm. Uh, they're very flexible. You can get all sorts of accessories for them. So it's probably the best solution if you want to swap things between bikes. So what do you need then? First off, uh, you need the actual uh, the housing itself. Now, I've got a an iPhone 6 Plus, which is the big iPhone. The iPhone 7 Plus is the same size, so you could probably use the same uh, device for that. And this is the this is the um, housing that I use, or the case and the housing, or mount. If we can get it out of the box. It's actually called a Tigra um, housing. Here we go. And this is the one, as I say, that is exactly the same as the one I just showed you on the CRF, but it actually comes ready fitted with the RAM mount ball, so you can use it you know, on, on any RAM mount system. So you need one of those. Uh, and then you need um, the RAM mount ball and U-bolt itself, which is what you would attach to the handlebars or wherever you want to mount the phone. Uh, and then you want an extension arm as well, so you've got a degree of flexibility around adjustment of where you mount the, uh, the phone. So I went for this one, which is the, I think it's the two inch uh, arm. Uh, it's called a double socket arm B. Length A is what uh, RAM mount call it. But anyway, I'll go through the details at the end of exactly what I bought. Um, but that's, that's what you need to, uh, to mount to the ball to then mount to the phone. So let's go over to the GS and let's, uh, let's mount it up and see what she looks like. OK, so here we are at the big beamer. I think what I'll do is put the uh, U-bolt, position it around about here somewhere. I won't uh, insult your intelligence and show you how to fit it because it's literally a U-bolt and a couple of nuts and on it goes. Uh, and then once that's done, we'll put the extension arm on and I'll move it around such that hopefully we can fit that uh, um, Tigra case without it snagging on any of the bodywork and so on uh, so that I get full movement of the handlebars and I can also still see the, uh, the NAV5 that I've got on the bike anyway. OK, let's do that. OK, so I've just uh, loosely mounted that on there at the moment, uh, roughly in the position it's going to be. Um, let me just turn the ignition on. OK. Right, so uh, that's obviously not going to work there. About there. That looks good. Let's actually sit on the bike. Let's see. Get the handlebar from side to side. Yep, nothing snagging. That should be perfect. Just going to tighten that up now. OK, perfect. All I've got to do now is uh, pop the phone in. Now, this particular case, the Tigra, has loads of clips to keep it secure. Also means it's waterproof, which is handy. There we go. Like so, like a touch-sensitive front, comes off. This is all rubberized inside. You just pop the phone in. Pop this back on. Like so, and there we have it. And uh, that should all work absolutely fine. There we go. Right, so there we have it. Another little uh, job done on the GS, and I look forward to uh, using that Tigra mount uh, during the coming season. Um, 
Now, uh, I said I'd mention the, exactly the parts I used to do that. So um, I bought these parts from Nippy Normans, one of my favourite suppliers for all things BMW and GS. If you've not been there, go and check them out. They've got all sorts of kit in there. But uh, I've got everything that you need for this mounting solution from there. Uh, and the things I've got, I've listed them below. There's, uh, there's links below to Nippy Normans. But uh, the mounting case itself, which as I say is the Tigra case, waterproof, works really well with the big iPhones. I've been using it on the CRF for ages. That's £49. Um, the RAM base mount, uh, that was uh, £17, that's the bit with the, the uh, U-clip. Uh, and then the little short arm, the 2-inch arm, was £15. So, uh, as I say, I'll pop a link below uh, in the description so you can uh, actually check out all those pieces if you need them. OK, so I hope that's been of interest. Look forward to speaking to you next time. Until then, this has been Mist and Fly. Cheerio.